Hi, I'm Nicole Erkin, Research Director for Mad Money, and I'm here with my brother, Ross Kenneth Erkin, Personal Finance Editor at The Street. And welcome back to Old Dog, New Blog, where each week we are teaching Jim Cramer the tricks of the trade of the younger generation. And welcome back, Jim. I did the recipe thing. I looked at that this weekend. Yeah. I'm thinking that's going to be one of my Memorial Day projects. Awesome. Recipe, it was one of the met sites that we talked about. Exactly, do-it-yourself recipes. And today we have a little bit more of a controversial hot topic name. You could name. even chronicle those recipes with today's topic, Snapchat. <laughs> right, now people are using this. I, I take a picture with my with my handheld, you know, my camera, mm -hmm. and then I tweet it, but there's obviously something else I can do with it. Right. right. So this is, if you think mission impossible for chronicling <laughs> your daily life or, or sending messages, the message self-destructs and you have, you can leave it up to 10 seconds um, when you send it to a person on the other, on the receiving end um, before it disappears into but the But I, I like to file the pictures I really like. I like to put in my, mm -hmm. my list of pictures, no? Okay. Well, as Ross aptly put it when we were talking this morning, he said, this self-destructs so that you don't self-destruct. The idea here is that if you want to send a silly picture, something that might not paint you in the best light to your friend, you can send it and not worry that it's going to show up on Facebook tomorrow that your employer might see. It's not going to show up on Twitter where the whole world could look for well, it. A, it's just a personal connection. I like that. That's somewhat in the NIMBY. The, no intoxicated messaging. <laughs> yes. I mean, in the sense that we often do things that are foolish. Right. Yes. So, we're, yeah, technology helps us in so many ways, but we're trying to limit the adverse effects of technology. Right. So, now, so Snapchat versus what? Versus this, Instagram? Yeah, versus, versus really just sending a normal text to someone or posting something on Facebook or posting it on Instagram, which is really there for the universe forever. Right. Even if you delete it, it was online and people can access now, it. I often ask you this. Uh, People are talking about this one very aggressively, saying a lot of younger people are using it. How did this catch on? I think just because of the novelty of it, people are able to make a goofy face or do worse um, mm -hmm. and, and not risk the repercussions. So uh, it, it seems it's the sixth most downloaded app in, uh, in the Apple Store How free could that app. Be? Now, it's, it's, huge. Im it's important because Snapchat did get a little bit of a bad name for a while as saying, well, it was the sexting app. It was the app that people used when they wanted to send an illicit type of photo. And I think that, that notoriety want. did increase its, its allure. Right. But I do think that it spans beyond that. There are a lot of kids in high school that, you know, you send a goofy picture of your face. You just don't, you know, a picture of you with some beer and you're underage. You just don't want it to be on Facebook. There is a wider usage for it than just sex sexting. But I would say that probably that is one of the ways but that it's used. this is used. another site with the underbelly of we do silly things on impulse and we have to protect ourselves. Right. Mm -hmm. We were Snapchatting and you actually have to hold down when you're receiving the picture for the 10 seconds. So, you know, you can't take copy a screenshot. it. You can't transfer it to someone else. You actually can't look at it and then take another picture of it. You have to be holding it well, down. How do I know that I've received a Snapchat? It pops up on the app that you have a new message and it oh. says who it's from. Okay. Yes. And it's and, very targeted. And we should say, so Nicole, we had brunch as a family this weekend with her parents and Nicole co-opted the brunch. <laughs> so I, I sent her a little Snapchat about my, my opinion of, of, of her conversation dominance. So I had a little hashtag, um, uh, a frowning face. Well, um, okay, let me ask you about that because I see people will tweet me at Jim Cramer and they'll have a hashtag for, for literally everything. I mean, is there anything that's not hashtagable? No, I think it's it's partly irony, and maybe this is is Irony's fodder. a hashtag, right? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> but but it is. It's more. It's the difference between ironic and ironical, which is is something we should we should address in another episode. But essentially, we're I, I was trying to convey annoyance, but with a tongue in cheek. But we should say that um, Snapchat does compete with Facebook Poke, which it came with, out... With Poke. Poke. And, and, you know, this was one of the earliest features on Facebook where you could, you know, poke someone and it's just kind of like a, a wink or a nudge. But uh, Facebook has a time self-destructing message, uh, but it, it's become... Uh, no, it didn't even, I think, uh, breach the top 10, uh, top 100 huh. in, in terms of downloaded apps. Well, right. if I were a forensic uh, policeman, 
would I be able to find that Snapchat? We don't know that, right? I mean, because they always are able to go into your hard drive. That, of course, this is not a hard drive situation. Right. I myself couldn't even access the frowning face there you go. Um, that I sent sense. Nicole okay. earlier uh, with the hashtag brunch. Right. So, um, you know, Evan this Spiegel, who created this, and, and Bobby Murphy, Stanford buddies, of course, uh, they did graduate, I believe. So yeah. that's a rarity <laughs> in, in the startup world. Um, they, I think their true value is coming up with a huge usership. That's, that's really Instagram's right. value. But I wonder if um, their potential for blackmail in the future is huge. If they have an archive of all well, of no, these that snaps. Like that's Now, Instagram turned out to be a very good buy from Facebook, yes. right? They made, that turned out to be a smart move. Yeah, I mean, the usership has, as you've noted, has skyrocketed. Right. People use it as a real way of just focusing on photos. This is a way of communicating, right. of sharing. Right. But like we said, all of these elements are permanent. And this Snapchat really seizes on the importance of impermanence sometimes. Well, it makes a lot of sense. All right. So uh, Snapchat, keep it on your sonar and your radar. That's Jim Cramer's word. We'll, we'll, we'll be sending around some fun Snapchats. Hope you do, too. I'm Nicole Erkin with Ross Kenneth Erkin and Jim Cramer. Thanks for being with us.